So here's the visible satellite loop uh, of tropical depression, Fred. A lot of the thunderstorms you're seeing over Cuba actually being generated by heating, just the same way we get storms over Florida. The center, which I think is tough to find, uh, is now over Cuba and is moving west at 12. The new track has been shifted to the west. This is a pretty low, con the whole thing is a low confidence forecast. Uh, even though it's, it is far enough west, we're no longer in this cone, a lot of the weather typically gets displaced on the east side of the center. So while this is not going to be a huge deal, I mean, if this is as bad as we get this hurricane season, I would call the hurricane season a big win. Uh, we may see some impacts near the coast, gusty winds, maybe some heavier rain bands along the coast, just offshore, something we watch for Sunday. But overall, I certainly think for us, this is manageable. Notice that the track, uh, a lot of the models have indeed shifted to the west. That's good news. The probability of getting tropical storm force winds 39 or above are pretty small, running about 5, 6% along our coast. Higher probabilities down by Key West. Rainfall next seven days could be a lot. And then Got tropical depression number seven now out in the Atlantic. This is a new track. Uh, we'll be watching this because by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, particularly this Wednesday at two o'clock, we're talking about what should be grace somewhere near Cuba or the Bahamas, but also potential land interactions. We'll be watching this. We get rid of Fred. We turn our attention to what should be grace as we move into the first couple of days of next week.